according to the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Stephen Kazimba Mugaru. The Church of Uganda acquired its prime land from the Native Anglican Church through missionaries in 1970s. The other land was acquired from Buganda government and other cultural institutions as well as individual donors. In our central region here, most of the land, apart from the Native Anglican Church land, it was donated to us by the Buganda government and we are so grateful. Simply because it was the Kawaka the king who invited the missionaries to come. The Archbishop explains that earlier donors of land were moral upright and the church never bothered to formalize its acquirement. Some of them actually made even uh, agreements and that agreement was definitely respected. No person would violate that. However, the ideal process through which donated land is formalized starts with agreements signed between the donor and the church. The transfer is done and the church is received, the church land is received and written in the names of registered trustees. This land belongs to the church. We do act in a trustee as trustees of the Church of Uganda. The titles were and are still taken to the Church of Uganda Secretariat and the land is kept in trust by the legal advisors of the church. Kazimba attributes in their demolition to moral decay and greed. And they even forge what was written and uh, some others go and create titles over titles in order to destroy what their parents or grandparents did. The Archbishop refers to the demolition of the church that has been in existence for 40 years as barbaric and would like government to protect institutional land. Somebody who has stayed on a piece of land for 12 years must have squatters' rights. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.